Factsverse presents This Bench Absorbs More Air Pollution Than a City Forest Air pollution is a problem all over the world. This is especially true in large cities. Car emissions and industrial buildings in these areas release a great deal of pollution into the air, and it can make the air dangerous for breathing. One of the places where the air is the most dangerous is in London. Within just a month, the city reached the air pollution limit that was set by the EU for the entire year of 2018. Because of this, it became necessary to find a way to stop the air pollution in the area. Fortunately, London believes that they have found the answer to all of their problems. Green City Solutions is a startup company based in Germany. To help London with their pollution problem, they planted what they call a city tree outside of the pubs and supermarkets on Glasshouse Street in London. This street is just a short walk away from a very busy Piccadilly Circus. This bench absorbs more air pollution than a small forest. The city tree is a combination of a city bench, a filter that can suck up pollution, and a smart device that can track the air in the environment. Around the unit is a combination of mosses and plants that are known to remove nitrogen dioxide, dust, and ozone gases in the surrounding air. It's hooked up to a smart device that can provide real-time data on the humidity level in the soil, the pollution levels, the temperature of the air, and the quality of the water. The unit runs on solar panels so that it doesn't need to use any electricity from the nearby buildings. It also uses rainwater that is collected and then is automatically redistributed using an irrigation system that's built in. Also, it's designed to be resistant to vandalism. The city tree has a bench on the bottom for pedestrians to take a seat and relax. These city trees are often set up in the middle of busy areas. They may look intrusive at first, however, when you think about all the pollutions that they can remove from the air, they are definitely worth it. London is one of the most polluted cities in the world. These benches alone are not going to address all of London's pollution problems. However, they do serve as a perfect example of how design and technology can step in to solve our planet's pollution and environmental problems. According to James Cooksey, the director of Central London at the Crown Estate, there are a few things that need to be done to get a handle on the city's air pollution problems. Reducing carbon emissions is the first step. Next, reducing the number of vehicles on the road is important. That's why it's suggested that London residents travel via public transportation or they can carpool. That would reduce the number of vehicles on the road. London is not the first city to install a city tree, and they likely won't be the last. So far, the German startup company has installed over 20 city trees in urban areas in Oslo, Berlin, Paris, Drammen in Norway, Hong Kong, Amsterdam, Brussels, and Newcastle, which is located in the northern part of the UK. Each of the places has seen how effective the city trees are, and they understand how it can be greatly beneficial for the health of their residents. Zheng Lang Wu, the co-founder of Green City Solutions, which is the company who developed the city tree, did an interview with CNN last year. During the interview, he stated, "...our ultimate goal is to incorporate technology from the city tree into existing buildings." He stated that the long-term goal is to create a climate infrastructure so that the bench can regulate the quality of the air as well as the temperature in the cities where the city trees are located. Can you imagine going out on a day where the temperature is in the 90s and yet it feels like a comfortable 72 degrees? Humidity is often a problem in the summer. When the air is humid, it can make it feel 10 to 20 degrees warmer. Green City Solutions is striving to make humidity a thing of the past. They're hoping that they can prevent the air from being sticky. They're also hoping that people won't complain about bad hair days and sticky skin due to the humidity in the air. If the air is a comfortable temperature and there's no humidity in the air, people in these big cities might be more likely to walk than to drive. When more people are walking, there'll be fewer carbon emissions in the air created by all the vehicles on the road. When major cities install city tree on their streets, they can control the amount of pollution in the air while keeping it from getting worse. Large buildings can also benefit greatly from installing the city tree in their lobbies. The city tree can keep the temperature and humidity down, which reduces the need for heating and cooling inside the building, and that will save the companies a great deal of money on their heating and cooling costs. A great deal of work went into the development of the city tree. The technology behind this was studied for over 10 years at the Dresden University of Technology, Lancaster University, and the University of Bonn. According to Green City Solutions, 
just one city tree is able to deliver the pollution-reducing and air cooling the same way that 275 conventional trees can. Since it can be almost impossible to plant 275 trees on the streets of major cities, installing just one city tree is an excellent option. The city tree may be man-made, however, it is capable of running naturally. There's no need for gasoline, plugs, or anything else to keep it running. According to Green City Solutions, this amazing invention is capable of reducing particulate matter by up to 30 percent. If all cities around the world started implementing a city tree in their highly polluted areas, we could reduce the problem of air pollution greatly over the next few years. Subscribe for more!